but on today's video I'm going to show you how to wire a 240 volt outlet for your welder in my case. Um, what you want to start off by is getting this 10 to wire and you want to measure the length you need so that you don't buy too little. My hardware store let me take this home, use what I want, and then take it back and then pay for it. You also need a two pole 30 amp breaker. Make sure it fits your your box because there's a couple different kinds. In my case, you're gonna need this for the electrical box, it's just a wire clamp. And then you're gonna need another one for the end of this outlet so I'm gonna start off by measuring and then we'll get started from there all right I just measured the distance and it's about 55 feet so I'm going to start feeding this through the conduit because this is a shed it's about 20 feet away from the house it goes down into the basement I already wired outlets out here never out wired 240 so all right so just a little recap on what i did <clears throat> i fed the wire through the conduit i put both caps back on one the one end of the wires in the basement this end we have a junction box here so that if this these wires get damaged in the shop you won't have to run them all the way back to the conduit that's just me so this place is there and we got this wire just going over to where I want my outlet down there so what we're gonna do now is just staple this make it look nice I'll bring you back and show you how to set up that all right so I'm ready to Start wiring up this outlet. So, never wired one of these, but can't be that. Alright, so there's two screws in the bottom right there. Take those off. This whole back should pop right off. And he's got a mess of stuff. So we've got it's either knockout for the back or the bottom. We're gonna use the bottom. Come on. Pop that that way. Just grab onto it. Wiggle that out. And then you've got that. over there and I'm going to show you how to mount and up this thing. Alright, so you got that knockout. You want to kind of measure your wire a little bit. Alright, I got that. I'm going to strip it right about there. Don't have any. Right. Take that off. And there's a little insulator right here. The ground wires take that off. Then you want to strip a fair amount off these wires. Just like 
됐습니다. 
if there is a bend, make it not a sharp bend, but a smooth transition. Make everything look nice because if someone sees this, you want them to show that you really care. And that you take pride in your work. And it's just not a sloppy mess for whoever owns your house if they do after you. But to get these holes out, look like this. I can get some light in here. It look like there's little knockouts right there. And how you get those out if you don't know. You just take a screwdriver or something and you just punch them. You come around the other side with your needle nose pliers and then they'll just twist right out. 59 cents. Got a little nut here. If you unscrew, and you just pop it in like that. It's a little wire clamp. Just one. Now I am working off of a live box because I don't want all our power to go out. So if you don't feel comfortable doing that, don't do it. If you don't feel comfortable doing any of this, hire an electrician. I just don't want to pay 400 and some dollars for someone to put something in that I can do myself. For a third of the price, but it's up to you. So you just... Take this wire mark where you want to cut it. Just take your razor knife and cut that sheathing off. And it just pulls right off. And then you got this protective seal right here. You just want to cut off. And when you're feeding this through, you have to be very careful not to hit anything. Because Box is live and it will electrocute you. It's been electrocuted many a times. I would not say I love to get electrocuted, that's all I gotta say. And then on the clamp, those two screws, you just tighten it. Just like that, hold your wires in place. Then, you want to take your breaker, 30 amps, looks like this, depending on your box. And all you're going to do is, there's prongs right on this side, and there's tabs on this box over here. Right there, and you just want to make sure your breaker's off. And click those tabs in that maybe I can get it maybe oh no I'm dumb come from the front you want it in the front first and then you push back on to right here you want to bend it and then you want to find an open slot On the ground. Put that in. Bend it. Whatever you want to do. Make sure they look pretty nice. Fix them a little bit. Put my cover back on and we'll be right back. 
All right, cover's back on. This is the breaker we just installed. Again, I know it sounds crazy, but some people forget to take out the knockouts. So make sure you do that. But let's flip it on and if we don't get shocked, we can go try it out. Alright, there you go, that is how to run a 240 volt outlet to your shop. Um, it cost me around 80 bucks, I think. Works great, as you see. Didn't mess anything up. Hope you enjoyed, I hope this helped you out. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave it down in the comments what you liked what I did wrong, what I could do better. But this is just me, DIYer. Yeah, thanks for watching.